always have a camera. I just have my Leica on my shoulder with a 28 millimeter lens. And when this, you know, the moment moves me, I just, I just grab it. I'm excited because I feel like my still photography informs my filmmaking, and I feel like my filmmaking and directing informs my photography in the end. For me, I've always, I love black and white, uh, I love music, I like old cars, I like, you know, motorcycles and black and white film, you know, so like, that's becomes my style. This is uh, Danny Clinch Transparent. We're in the Asbury Hotel in Asbury Park, New Jersey. And this is a gallery that is open to the public and all are welcome to be here. Uh, if you are a music fan, this is the place to come see legendary uh, musicians that you've grown up listening to and some of the newer acts that he's photographed. It's uh, definitely for anybody who loves music. I started as an intern for Annie Leibovitz and then I worked my way up to be one of her assistants. And you know, I learned a lot from her. I mean, um, I always felt like her photographs were magic. So to me, when I saw them, it always blew my mind. And to actually be in the same room with her and help her execute uh, and support her art like that was really intriguing. And it helped me realize that, you know, it, it wasn't actually magic. It was someone who was very talented and who was really passionate about what she did. It was a great learning experience for me to see. As a photographer who moves, who's moved into filmmaking, I think one of the challenges for me was always, um, uh, you know, especially when I'm picking up a camera, you have to hold that frame for a little while and you have to let it live with inside the frame, let that moment live with inside the frame. It's interesting, I remember the first time I heard uh, the joke by Brandy Carlisle. It's an emotional song um, and just you know the vocal on it is so incredible and it's so moving. I was truly moved by it and, and they had sent it to me because they were wondering if I wanted to do a music video. You know it was at a time where I think Brandy was right on the edge of just like jumping off into the the wild uh, the wildness of, of her career, which just took an amazing turn, uh, deservedly. And um, it's been really exciting to watch her grow. In fact, uh, we had her on See Here Now. So last year, the first year, when I did the joke, I was shooting the video with her, and we were just so emotional and just so grateful for each other's, this new friendship. And, and I said, I'm doing something really great in Asbury Park, it's on the beach, and you know, we really want you to come and play the festival. And she goes, I'm in. I'm in, just you know, let me know where I need to be. And she, she kept her word. See Here Now was really a brainstorm of my friend Tim Donnelly and I. And we would show some of my photographs, we would show surfers' artwork, uh, musicians' artwork, have a little jam. When Superstorm Sandy came through, we saw an opportunity to, uh, to try and raise some money for people who were on the ground like actually really doing the real work here in the community because Asbury was spared because of where it sits um, uh, level wise but a lot of the surrounding communities were really really damaged and so we called on our friends uh, uh, Preservation Hall Jazz Band, Jim, uh, My Morning Jacket, Steve Earle, Jesse Mell and Joseph Arthur, Brian Fallon, Nicole Atkins um, and people really came out and supported us. We put on a show uh, at the Paramount Theater, the beautiful old theater. 
and um, and it was successful and we felt good and we gave back to the community and they appreciated it. It's incredible and it's really, it's nice to be a part of the community. It's like nice to give back to the community. You know, it's funny, you think about like who we're putting on the bill and you know, sometimes it's people I've always wanted to photograph. <laughs> um, but it does become a bit like uh, walking into your own living room <laughs> and dancing around with your friends.